Hello and welcome to another video here with Club Danube and um, hope you guys are doing well. Today we are at Hamad International Airport in Doha and it's quite noisy. As you guys can tell, plenty of aircraft sparked. Today we'll be flying over from Hamad uh, International in Doha. You can see uh, Doha over there, uh, the uh, skyline of Doha. We'll be flying from Doha over to Muscat in Amman using the 737-900. I think 900ER is what we'll be flying today and uh, we'll be flying using the livery of Amman Air. Okay, uh, so there we have, we are in Doha. And uh, let's get inside our aircraft and let's see what we can do to get this aircraft started up from cold and dark we are starting up from cold and dark today followed by that we will uh yep there it is there's our aircraft the beautiful 737-900 okay there we are ladies and gentlemen we're parked at a ramp just outside the uh, main terminal here Without further delay, ladies and gentlemen, let us go ahead and get this aircraft started up. Here we are inside the 737-900ER. And um, today's flight should be about an hour long. So not a very long flight, it's an hour long flight today. And uh, we'll, I'll get into the details of the flight plan as we program it into the FMC. So for now, let's just go ahead and get this aircraft started up from cold and dark, shall we? All right. So let's begin by going overhead and getting the batteries uh, up and running. The battery should be right there. Okay. Let's go back down to the FMC here. Request ground service. And we'll have ground power available soon. We'll see the light coming on right here. There it is, ground power available. We're going to switch to ground power. And now we're on ground power, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get some lights going here, shall we? So, to get the lights going... Oh, sorry. The lights are here. Okay. Get the lights going. Let's turn the uh, panel brightness to a max. Let's come back down here. And we've got main panel brightness here. We'll turn that over to max as well. And I believe we have our pedestal brighting, uh, brightness here. So we'll set that to max as well. I have a little bit of a floodlight going. Just not too much. Just a little bit. Just enough to allow us to see the... rest of the aircraft there we go that should be enough okay we can now go back overhead and turn that off let's continue with the startup here shall we okay we've got ground power connected up and running let's get our irs systems to nav i'll wait for it to align here there we go let's do the same with this one the right system there we go. Let's turn this to the heading STS mode. Okay, so that's done. Let's go ahead and arm the emergency lights. Let's turn on all our heats, window heat on and probe heat on as well. Okay, now we can go ahead and um, program in our flight plan for the day. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Okay, we'll ignore that message. Let's set our initial IRS position. We'll take it from our GPS here. Okay, so that's done. Our reference effort for the day is OTHH, which is um, Hamad International in Doha. Okay, let's move on to route. Origin is OTHH and our destination OOMS Sieb International in Muscat. Our flight number for the day will use CDN number eight. 
Our takeoff runway for the day is 16 left. We'll take off from Hamad International from 16 left. Let's continue on and input our en route waypoint. Our en route waypoints today will be using three en route waypoints. The first one is Kaksob. Kaksob. The next one is Sisug. The last one is Paxim. Okay. Oops. Okay. Paxim. Excellent. Now, let's go to our departure and arrival. Now, out of Doha today, we'll be using the Bund 1M SID. And we'll use runway 16 left. Let's execute that. For arrivals today into Sieb International, we'll be using the Musu 1V arrival. Okay. And we'll be landing using ILS 08 left. Just right there. And okay. Let's now go to our performance initialization. Zero fuel weight will copy it from the scratch pad here. Our cruising altitude for the day is going to be 27,000. Okay, that's fine. Our reserves, put them at 5. Cost index, we'll use 80. And that's all we need to do here. We're going to leave N1 limit. Takeoff flaps for the day is going to be 5. Our center of gravity, 27.5%. 4.79 is supposed to be our trim. So let's go ahead and set that right now. While we're at it, let me just turn on the parking brake as well. Okay. Elevator trim at 4.79. Okay. Oh, let's put it to 4.79 right there. Let's copy in our V speeds here. 154, 157, and 163. Okay. 157 being our rotation and v1 at 154 excellent okay now let's go off towards our runway today is dry we don't need to worry about anything else let's see transition altitude for the day it's given us 18,000 let's use 10,000 as our transition altitude for the day okay excellent let's go towards our legs root discontinuities we can Resolve those right away. Okay. And there we go. No more root discontinuities. Excellent. Okay. So uh, we're done with the FMC with that. That's all we needed to do. So let's go ahead and go to our control panel here, the MCP, and configure our autopilot for the flight. Turn on our flight directors here. And... Uh, Let's see, what's our runway heading for the day? Our runway heading for the day is 156 degrees. 15L is facing 156 degrees. So we set it to 156, okay? Our heading can also come to 156 here. Excellent. Let's do the same with the course knob on the other side. Okay, 156. Can arm our auto throttle here and we'll put the speed at the 250 knots uh just because we can we want to get there as quickly as possible so we'll just put it at 250 we'll put our initial climb out altitude at 10,000. once we reach 10,000, which is also our transition altitude for the barometric pressure we'll switch the barometric pressure to standard and we will then um begin our climb out to 27,000 feet so we'll do a two-step uh, climb out to our cruising altitude today okay sounds uh that sounds good uh let's just make sure we're using live weather for the day okay we're actually flying uh at 6 15 so we're not using real time today but we're flying using a uh, live weather okay i'm debating is should i uh fly this uh, during the night or shall we fly this um during uh, the day you know what I don't do enough night flights. I'll perform the same flight during uh, the day or storm later on. But for now, 
let me just continue on uh, with our night flight for the day it will be pretty fun so let's just we'll just leave the time as it is we'll use live weather okay fine uh that sounds like a plan let's continue here shall we let's see what else is remaining let's see if lnav works yes it does let's see if vnav works yes it does let's press b and set the barometric pressure barometric pressure is 29.53 inches locally okay and we have that set as well excellent okay now um this display is a little too bright for my liking so just going to reduce the brightness slightly here okay that's good enough excellent okay let's continue on with our startup list now shall we anything else left nope that's about it okay brilliant let's go ahead our seat belts can come to the on position your damper can be turned on here as well okay our cruising altitude is 27,000 feet, so we set our pressure to that. Let's turn on our APU here. Aft fuel pump 1 can go on. We'll turn on our APU right here. Okay. We'll wait for the needle here to jump up and then come back down somewhere around the uh, 400 position, I believe. And we'll also wait for the um, APU generators to become available, at which point we'll switch power from ground power over to the APU generators. Okay, so we'll wait for this uh, needle, or rather we'll wait for the um, generator availability. We'll go outside and have a look at the APU starting up. Oh, it's very noisy outside. We can still hear the APU though. Although it's very noisy outside, we can still hear the APU starting up, so that's good. My goodness, it's a loud airport, isn't it? Oh, wow. Very, very loud indeed. Yeah, let's head back inside, shall we? Before we start up the engines here... Um, let's go ahead and request some ground services, shall we? get our fuel truck here let us request the aft galley the passenger bus the forward and cart loaders okay let's see our fuel for the day 54 that's more than enough our payload we are going with a full load today excellent okay. all right let's go back up there we go we have the apu generators available we'll switch power to APU generators, ground power, we'll dis we can disconnect ground power right now if we like. So let's go ahead and release the ground power right there. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's go outside and have a look at what's going on with our aircraft. There it is, the um, catering truck coming up. Uh, the uh, passenger stairs attached and the door is open as well. The forward cart loaders are coming up as well fuel truck is there we go various services being down excellent okay from here there's nothing much left except to go ahead and turn on the fuel pumps up here in preparation for engine start and turn the APU bleed to on here okay with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are effectively ready for pushback. So what we can do is, um, before we start our pushback, um, let's go outside and have a look at the route along which we're going to actually perform the pushback. Okay, so... Oh my goodness, it's loud. But anyway, let's see. We're going to back our aircraft in. We're going to turn our tail to the left we're gonna continue along this taxiway right here and uh, we're gonna turn right here and 
we're gonna turn right here we gotta turn left here then we continue along this taxiway turn right and there is 16 left our takeoff runway this is what I'll guess a real airport should sound like right it is very very noisy I guess that's what makes it so realistic huh? Eh? FS realistic by the way that's giving me the airport sounds but anyway now that we have an idea of how to taxi the aircraft let's head back down and get inside our aircraft here there it is all right let's disconnect all our ground power i mean ground services by removing our wheel chocks when we remove the wheel chocks all the ground services will disconnect automatically so let's go ahead and have a look at that look at that the stairs are being removed right there the passenger bus is going away right there the cargo loaders uh the cargo carts and loader will go away the catering truck has also been disconnected and there we are ladies and gentlemen we'll just wait for that to happen right there okay the services are beginning to go away that's good it is just way too noisy outside for me to uh talk over i don't know if you guys can hear me i hope you guys can hear me when i'm talking outside but anyway okay let's just go ahead and get ready for pushback now push back let's attach the tug here we'll push back straight out here and uh, just making sure that our uh Parking brake is on here, which it is. Let's go ahead and request pushback right away. Shall we? Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start tail straight out. Roger that. Ready for push straight back. Release the brakes, please. Released. Okay, we have pushback starting, and while pushback is happening, let's go ahead and start our engines. Ignition to right, engine start knob to the ground position for the right engine. And let's watch our N2 as it climbs. Once it hits 20%, we'll put the um, the engine condition lever up to idle. There we go. And we have our right engine starting up, ladies and gentlemen. Engine number two. I hope you guys can hear it. Okay. While that's happening, let's go back overhead. We'll wait for the knob to come back to the auto position, and it has. Let's now go ahead and start engine number one. Ignition to left. Push back complete. Parking set. Okay. Set our parking brakes really quickly here. Brakes. brakes are set. Okay, we'll wait for N2 to rise here. We'll press stop here on the pushback. Roger that. Actually, not. Let's just... Okay, never mind. Okay. Uh, let's just... Uh, where is the fuel cut off? Oh, there it is. All right. Engine number one. Let's have a look. Engine number one starting up. Hope you guys can hear it. Okay, let us see and yep, startup is complete. Let's put back the ignition to the both position. 
we'll switch power from the APU over to the engine generators. Sorry. There we go. Once that's done, we can turn off APU bleed. We can turn off the APU itself. We don't need it. We turn on the hydraulics pump. We can put our packs to automatic. Engine bleeds should be on, and they are. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's turn on our taxi lights here. We are ready for taxiing here. Okay, let's have a quick look outside. My goodness. That guy's gonna pass right through us. Anyway, we're gonna ignore that. We're just gonna turn right and uh, merge with the taxiway that's uh, right there. Okay. We'll just turn right and continue on, shall we? Okay, parking brakes released. There we go. And uh, let's get ourselves rolling here with a little bit of... Crack open the throttle here to get us rolling. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are underway. And while we taxi, we will drop our flap to the takeoff position, position 5 degrees. Okay, so let us turn on to the taxiway that we see right ahead of us. And the taxi is quite long, so um, once we start taxiing and I've dropped my flaps and etc., I'll join you guys back at the runway turnoff point rather than you guys having to sit through the whole taxi here all right okay there's the taxiway let's go ahead and drop our flaps shall we to position five or takeoff flaps are traveling as you can see from the dial to our right side right here okay we've got a flaps at position five still traveling are they For some reason yes they're still traveling interesting we'll take a right here And we'll take a left here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the taxi is a long one. So um, what I'll do is I'll join you guys right at the end of uh, the taxi, right before we turn on onto the uh, runway here. So yeah, I'll... Uh... Ooh, look at that really nice isn't it okay yep as you can see there is a long taxi straight ahead of us all the way to um, the runway turn off all right I'll see you guys at the end of the uh, turnoff. At the start of the turnoff, rather. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, about to turn off onto the runway here. Okay, turning off onto the runway. Sixteen left. There it is. We'll stop right here Put on our parking brakes for a second. Okay, let's turn on our landing lights here. And actually, um, there's the position light right here. You can turn that to position lights can go to strobe. 
Okay, just making sure they are actually in the strobe position. Okay. Uh, this glitch is very annoying, but anyway. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. They're in the uh, strobe position right now. And our flaps are down uh, to five. And we are ready for takeoff, ladies and gentlemen. Just need to turn off our uh, taxi lights. Which we will uh, momentarily. We'll also turn on our runway turn off lights. Why not? Okay. Let's just go ahead and release our parking brake here. So you know what? The turn off lights can go off. We'll perform a rolling takeoff. Hopefully everything is ready the way we want it. We'll find out soon enough. Okay. Here we are. Effectively the end of the runway. And there's someone on the runway. We're not going to bother too much about that. Taxi lights off. And we are on our way. Okay, 80 knots. Climb, gear is up. That rotation was hard. I was uh, I was trying to uh, avoid that aircraft. We did rotate too hard of the runway. But anyway. Okay. Let's push our flaps up here slowly. Pushing our flaps up even further. Okay, uh, we don't have a lot of safety margin on the speed as you guys can see. So I'm trying to maintain that as much as possible. Okay, flaps up one more time. At the same time, let's go ahead and uh, put our gear down here. Let's turn on autopilot here. Autopilot has been engaged. LNAV is working. VNAV is taking care of speed right now. Flaps are fully up. Landing lights are still on. Let's go outside and have a look, shall we? There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Doha behind us. back inside thought i turned on the uh logo lights oh i didn't okay let's turn on the logo lights here wing lights as well for now okay okay everything is looking good as we make our turn on to uh aman here beautiful Okay, it's very important to, uh, I feel like um, it's important to fly during the night. It gives you, uh, I don't know how to say it, a different, completely different experience to flying during the day. 
especially because you have to rely on your instrument much much more i believe you'll become more confident in the aircraft you're flying you fly them during the night look at that how about the international very bright lots of light let's see how are we looking on uh, the journey the journey is looking good very very nice VNAV is currently taking care of our climb and our speed as well. As we climb out to 10,000 feet here, we also have an aircraft in front of us. Let's get the traffic display up here. Um, yeah, you know what? Momentarily, let's just turn on our dome lights to dim. Just so we can have a look around. You know what actually it's better to turn the floodlight here up and turn off the um, dome light yeah I feel like that's better there's no light on this side so that's kind of annoying but apart from that I feel like this is pretty cool right man look at that I am definitely addicted to night flights. It's just a different feel, man. A completely different feel. Wow. Anyway. Let's turn on the brightness here as well a little bit. Yeah. That's better. lovely okay so um we have an altitude restriction here i believe come on go to legs okay we do have an altitude restriction somewhere here there should be yeah uh so the aircraft is following that for the time being we're holding seven thousand feet um you know what we'll do we'll just allow the aircraft to climb out uh by itself we'll just um ask for 1500 as our vertical speed while maintaining 250 under 10,000 okay all right uh, so at 10,000 feet i'll do the necessary i'll turn off the landing lights and turn our pressure to the standard but um yeah so this is just climb what i'll do now is i will see you guys at the top of descent for our journey so that you don't have to sit through the whole route and uh, yeah i'll see you at the top of descent for now and uh, i hope you guys enjoy the views i'll show you guys a, a collection of the views along the route and i'll see you at the top of descent okay enjoy
all right welcome back guys and as you can see we are now 14 nautical miles away from paxim our top of descent uh is right after paxim i believe okay as you can see from the fmc at the waypoint of musuk which is 62 nautical miles away from paxim we're supposed to be at 9,000 feet there it is our top of descent is coming right into view you can also see that there's uh traffic right ahead of us as well I think they're below us yeah it should be okay although the clearance is very very little that looks very close to us anyway here comes our top of descent ladies and gentlemen and um, at this point we should go ahead and program in the altitude we would like to reach which is 9,000 feet here oh I went way overboard with that okay 9,000 feet is what we're supposed to reach at Musuk, our next waypoint after Paxim. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we can go ahead and command, um, command the descent to 9,000 feet using the VS mode. We'll descend at about, I would say, 2,500 or 2,000. 2,000 should be plenty because we do have 62 nautical miles reach 9,000 feet so at top of descent we'll begin commanding a 2,000 feet per minute descent and we'll also make sure that we slow down to 240 knots by the time we reach Musuk okay so uh right here we are passing the waypoint of Paxim right there the waypoint of Paxim we've passed now our top of descent is about five nautical miles away from us let's actually go ahead and command this descend now we'll begin with roughly yeah let's go at 2000 Shall we? there we go 2000 feet per minute okay let's also bring the speed down here to let's first put it down to about 300 knots actually 290 knots okay there we go we have the engines going down to almost idle i believe yep engines are being put down to idle here and we've begun our descent ladies and gentlemen there is still a long way to musuk about 56 nautical miles here yeah, 56 nautical miles to musuk so i'll join you guys right before we reach musuk and we'll see how we are getting along with our descent okay all right i'll catch you guys right before we reach the waypoint of musuk i'll see you soon all right we are now roughly 10 nautical miles away from musuk and as you can see we are going to reach our 9,000 feet target well before Musuk and we're going to cross 10,000 feet uh, shortly we have our speed brakes extended right now to help us in slowing down the aircraft to the desired speed of 240 knots at Musuk that seems to be working so far when we do cross 10,000 feet which we should write about yeah within a couple of hundred feet We'll go ahead and turn on our landing lights. We'll also turn uh, the barometric pressure to the local barometric pressure. Away from the standard. Okay, there we are. We're crossing 10,000 feet. Let's turn on our landing lights here. Let's change the barometric pressure to the uh, local pressure. 29.58. 29.58. Yep, there it is. And we are reaching our target altitude of 9,000. Most of coming up. Our next target altitude is 8,000 feet. We can now go ahead and uh, remove our speed brakes. There we go. 240 knots reached and at Musuk, three nautical miles away from Musuk. We're at 240 nautical miles, 9,000 feet. Perfect. Now, at our next waypoint of Bubil, we're supposed to be at 8,000 feet. That's going to be our target. So, uh, let's just cross Musuk, which should happen in just about 2 nautical miles, roughly. 
and then we will begin our descent down to 8,000 feet and our speed can remain at 240 knots okay excellent so just as we are crossing Musuk here let us begin our descend to 8,000 feet here at just maybe 700, actually even less. Maybe 500 feet per a minute because uh, as you can see, we have 24 nautical miles to Bobil. Okay, so we'll continue with this uh, descent here. And um, yeah. At Bobil, we're supposed to be 240 knots, which we are maintaining right now, roughly. 8,000 feet, which we'll easily make, as you can see from the green arc. So I will catch you guys when we are a couple of nautical miles away from Bobil. And we'll see how the flight is progressing. All right. All right. We are back here in the cockpit, and we are about 7.5 nautical miles, 8 nautical miles away from Bobil. Boobill. And as you can see on the FMC, we have a message telling us that there's a steep descend right after Boobill. And we can see that if we look at our next waypoint of Itlak, we're supposed to be at 3,400 roughly. About, we'll be at about 3,500 feet and 225 knots at Itlak. And it's only 13.6 nautical miles away from Boobill. So as you can see, there's going to be a steep descend to um, bring ourselves down from 9,000 to 3,500. So let's go ahead and input 3,500 into the panel here. Prepare for our descent here. We'll also have to put the speed down to 225. Okay, let's do that right away. Let's deploy the speed brake to help us slow down a little quicker here. And as you can see, we are very, very near our runway here. Not much distance to go. Okay, we can stow our speed brakes back down and let us actually begin descending right away here. Go down by about, we'll go down by about 2,500. We'll deploy the speed brakes to prevent us from uh, speeding up. Even then, as you can see, we've begun speeding up quiet rapidly here. Hopefully the speed will drop down soon enough. But here we go. We've begun our descent down to 3,500 feet here. We're making a, a sharp left turn of sorts to line up with Itlak. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to come in on our final. Yep, we'll be on our final in no time. I still don't have clear visual of the airport. I do know it's somewhere here. I don't know exactly where. But anyway, let's have a look. Okay. Our speed is increasing too much here. And uh, you know what? I'm going to flatten out our descent down to 2000. Because as you can see, we have some room here to reach 3500 feet at Itlak. As a matter of fact, we're going to go down to 3,400 feet at good luck. Okay. Oh, the speed has stopped increasing, but we still need to drop our speed by about 20-something knots to reach 225 target. Um, okay, let's see. Is that the runway ahead of us? I am not too sure. It's my first time flying into Sieb International, I believe. Uh, I don't think I've flown into Sieb International before. I always fly out of Sieb International. But um, probably not into Sieb. If I have, it's definitely the first time from Doha. So anyway, let's see how this goes up. Okay, we'll reach our altitude well in time for Itlak. That's good news. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the runway we are aiming for at this point. Yep. That should be the airport, and that should be the runway that we are aiming for right now, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Excellent. All right. We have reached 3,500 feet, about five nauticals away from Itlak. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. And our speed is dropping well. We can stow the speed brakes back. 
down to yep and there we go 225 knots perfect um we can now actually we're supposed to be at 2200 at our next waypoint of ff08 left so let's put that down here to 2200 shall we And our speed is supposed to be at 168 when we reach FF08 left. As you can see, that is definitely the runway we're going to go into. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, not too bad. Let's see. Can we catch the um, glide slope by any chance? No, a little too far for the glide slope. Although the localizer is... Is it being caught? Not exactly. Okay, actually, yes, the localizer, yes, has been caught, but the glide slope, we're a little too soon for that. That's fine, that's fine. You know what we'll do? Let's go down to um, 2,200 here. Let's also reduce our speed now to 168. We'll go down to 165 here. We'll also begin uh, dropping our flaps as soon as we can. Oh, we have a problem, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? We're not slowing down quickly enough. Oh, there's going to be a problem. Let's see, let's see. Let us see, let us see. Okay. For now, we seem to be doing okay. 2,500 coming up. Uh, my goodness. Okay, we're going in too fast. Now, flaps still. Let's see. Let me drop flaps to position one. That'll help us slow down a little bit. Ooh, yep. Let me actually drop my gear as well here to help us slow down. Approach mode is on as well. Let's drop. Continue dropping our flaps quickly here. Let's drop it quickly down to position five. Okay, position 10. Let's go down to 25 quickly. Let's bring down our speed all the way to our 140 here. Actually, 135. Oh, no. Okay, let's slow down further. Oh, we left this a little too late, didn't we? Okay, let's drop our flaps a little more. A little bit more here. Okay, finally. We're ready for landing, ladies and gentlemen. Flaps, our speed brake is still on here, trying to slow us down. Our speed is 135. Okay, we're looking good right now. That was close. We left it too long. I forgot we're flying the 737 900ER, um, which takes time to slow down. Okay, we're going to ignore that airspeed fall warning here. Okay, we're not going to worry about that. Let's actually go up to 140 and nothing more. Oops, stick shaker warning. Let's arm the speed brakes. Approach seems to be working so far. Although I'd like to take control well before. Oh, our speed has increased now. My goodness. Okay. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, coming into land here. 500 feet, I'll take control. 500. I'm taking control here. 100. Three hundred. Two hundred. Coming in a little low. That's okay. A little under the glide slope. That's fine. One hundred. Fifty. Okay. 
All right. Max reversers. Speed brakes deployed. We're slowing down, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Let's put our flaps up, shall we? Speed brakes back down. Flaps traveling. Taxi lights on, landing lights off. Exit the runway here, shall we? Okay, and welcome uh, to Seab International here in Amman, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll just continue on straight here. And uh, let me see. Which way shall I go? Okay, I'll just take a right here. Go Yep, we'll go to the gates that you see on our right. Okay, flaps are stored. Perfect. Okay, tight little turn here. That's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sieb International in Amman. Let's now find a nice little parking spot for our aircraft, shall we? We'll take the gate right after this A330. Okay, so we shall take... Oh, is that a parking? It should be. Let's take this gate here, shall we? Yep, there it is. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's park our aircraft right on this gate here. See how well we park this without the aid of a marshal. Just leave it right there. Okay. Let's turn on our parking brakes. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in uh, Amman. Let's have a look at our landing replay before we go ahead with our shutdown procedure. So let's go ahead and have a look at our landing replay. Here we go with the landing replay, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how we did. Okay, I think I made the engine go idle too soon. Okay. Right, ladies and gentlemen i think uh that was a uh well it was a decent landing i did uh push the engine to the idle position a little too soon but besides that i think it was a pretty decent landing all right hope you guys enjoyed that replay let's now go ahead we'll uh go back inside the cockpit where we left off at the gate and we will shut down the aircraft Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's now uh, go ahead and shut down this aircraft. 
shut down the engines before we do let's go over ahead and get the uh ground power connected first shall we let's go ahead get our shock set let's request ground power once our ground power is connected we can actually go ahead and uh, shut down the engines because um we did forget to turn on the apu as we're taxiing in so engines off let's have a look at that from outside there we go engines have come off okay now that the engines have come off let's go ahead and ask for our ground services here let's have a look our engine is still going on i see Go to jetway let us request the jetway okay while the engine is still throttling down let's see what all we can turn off here let's turn off the aft fuel pumps and the forward fuel pumps as well we do not we can turn off the taxi lights we can turn off the strobe lights here to steady turn off wing lights Turn off logo lights. Landing lights are already off. Excellent. You can turn off the engine bleed if we like. Uh, sure, why not? Then AC packs can go to off here. Let's see. Hydraulics here can come to off. Window heats can go to off. Probe heats can go to off as well. Your damper can go off. What else? That our emergency lights can be disarmed now to off. Seat belts to off. Chime to off. Uh, what else? What else? What else can we do here? Okay, let's go back down and connect our ground services, shall we? Uh, let's uh, request fuel truck, not fuel truck. Forward loader and the carts can be requested. There we see our catering truck coming towards us. Got our uh, front loader requested. The jetway is connected as well. Okay. Once that's done, let's go back up. Let's see, what all can we switch off now? Your amper is off. But that's off. Uh, we don't just push this back down to zero. Then um, let's see. Let's see. let's go here. Turn off the IRS systems right here. Dome lights can be put up. Panel brightness to zero here. We don't need most of them anymore. What else? What else? What else? Let's go back to our uh, pedestal here. Floodlight brightness off. Panel brightness off. Let's do the same with our main panel brightness. That can come to off. We'll do the same here. Main panel brightness to off. And turn these off as well, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, essentially, there we are. Okay, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, what else? If we look outside, we can see our uh, services connected. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's flight. I really hope you did. Let's have a look at this beautiful airport, shall we? Here we are. In Amman. Sieb International, it's such a beautiful airport, isn't it? So, so lovely. So lovely. Alright. With that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do like the video if you did enjoy it. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Welcome. And I hope you enjoyed the video.
Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one, ladies and gentlemen.